Uh, welcome to the community design meeting for the Winton Terrace Infrastructure Improvement Project. My name is Sally Ellerson, and I handle the project communications for the Fort Worth Water Department's Water Capital Delivery Group. If you have questions, uh, please post them in the chat. If you're new to WebEx, look at the bottom right-hand side of your screen. You'll see chat with a little bubble next to it. Click on that and enter your questions, and we will answer those questions after the presentation. If you're a call-in user, we'll take your questions after we go through all the chat questions. This meeting is recorded. A link to the video will be posted to the city website page. Uh, that is fortworthtexas.gov backslash projects backslash CFW Winton Terrace Infrastructure Improvement. I have put that link in the chat as well. Uh, we will also email the video link and the project summary to the board members of the Park Hill Neighborhood Association so they can share that to you. And Ann Zeta is your district council member. I'm going to unmute her and see if she wants to say anything. Good evening. Um, I'm just here to see, hear the presentation and answer any questions that anyone might have for me. Um, so I just would, you can get underway with the presentation. Thank you, Ann. Okay, and now I'm going to pass this to Chris Underwood. He is the project manager. Good evening. My name is Chris Underwood. Um, I'm going to uh, walk through this uh, PowerPoint presentation and give everybody as much information as I, as we can as far as construction go on. To start with, here's an agenda, kind of outline what's what's going to be consisting of this meeting. Um, first of all, we'll have introductions of the people that are going to be uh, managing this project and inspecting and, and actual construction. Um, the project overview will just kind of show what all, where everything is going to be, uh, the kind of the area that we're uh, going to be working in and what's going to be going on. Project areas where we're going to be working, and I have some frequently asked questions that I'll I'll uh, answer. I'll and then we'll do a construction timeline, and then uh, following that we'll have uh, we'll answer some questions from specific questions from. Uh, those that are in this meeting. Um, okay, so my name is Chris Underwood. I'm the project manager. My phone number is 817-392-2629. My email is john.underwood at fortworthtexas.gov. Yes, my name is John. I go by Chris. My parents did that to me, but anyways. Our construction inspection Supervisor is David Johnson. His number is 817-223-2279. His email is david.johnson2 at fortworthtexas.gov. He is the inspection supervisor. He's going to um, assign an inspector that's going to be out there on site um, daily. Uh, I think his name Right now, he, he's going to be Stephen Martinez. Um, but when we get closer to, when we actually get to construction, you'll get a door hanger and it'll have his name on there, your name and number and email. Uh, the contractor is Circle C Construction. The, the, the superintendent that's going to be out there on site is uh, Keegan Jonkers. Um, and the engineering design consultant was uh, Craig Barnes with Shield Engineering Group, along with Rhonda Bissentainer. Um, so project overview, this project is in City Council District 9. The construction area is west of Forest Park, south of the Fort Worth Zoo, and east of South University Drive. Existing sewer lines will be rehabilitated in existing easements and or relocated to street right away 
in the Park Hill area. The existing water line will be relocated into the streets right away, and the streets will be resurfaced following the water and sewer construction. The project area, there's a map here that shows the actual area that's going to be uh, rehabbed. It's Winton Terrace East from Park Hill Drive to Winton Terrace West. We're going to be doing water, sewer, and paving. Uh, Medford Court West, there's an easement between Medford Court West and uh, Winton Terrace West. And there's two easements there that are going to have some sewer work done. Uh, just from Park Hill Drive north to Westcott Road and north of West, and north of Westcott Road. Uh, Winton Terrace West from Park Hill Drive to Winton Terrace East. Uh, we're going to be do, doing water, sewer, and paving. The water and sewer will be replaced and relocated in Winton Terrace East from Park Hill Drive to Winton Terrace West. And back to Park Hill Drive, the sewer lines will be rehabilitated in easements between Winton Terrace West and Medford Court West. So one of the questions is why are we doing this project? Fort Worth, the City of Fort Worth prioritizes water and sewer line replacements based on available data, which includes water main break history, leak history, CCTV, closed circuit TV, inspection, age of the line, line material, and whether there are lead service lines. Which we don't have any lead service lines in this area. Um, the sewer lines need to be moved so they're more accessible to our field operations crew. Uh, the water lines have a history of main breaks. So these, these type of projects are initiated by either TPW determined street needs rehab, and which they'll inquire with the water department if the water and sewer main conditions require replacement. Water department, sometimes water department determines that the water and sewer mains need replacement and, and the water department will inquire with TPW on street rehab needs. Due primarily to the age, break history, and condition assessments of the water and sewer mains, the water department determines replacement of the mains are necessary with TPW participating in the street rehab. Um, generally speaking, the the water main is underneath the curb, and the sewer mains are underneath the sidewalk. So rather than trying to replace those where they're at, we're relocating them out into the street so that uh, they'll, be, they'll have better uh, access for uh, the water department. Um, So one of the questions would be, will you need access to our property? The sewer work that will be rehabilitated in the easements will require access to the affected properties. You should have been notified and sent a temporary right of entry if your property is one that requires access to the easement. Uh, to elaborate on that, if you've received a temporary right of entry in the mail and haven't already done so, please sign and return to me, the project manager. This will help to protect you, the property owner, and the contractor alike, whereas the property owner will be aware that the contractor requires access and the contractor has the property owner's acknowledgement of this access. So, um, another question is, will our sewer service be disrupted? The sanitary sewer service will not be interrupted. New sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property line. The sewer cleanout provides crews easy access if a backup or blockage occurs. Um, the sewer cleanout also serves as a line of demarcation, meaning the service line from the cleanout to the sewer main is, is the public portion of the service and is the city's responsibility to maintain. The service line from the cleanout to the house is the private portion or your plumbing and is the property owner's responsibility to maintain. Another question is, will our water be turned off? Water will be turned off for a 15 to 30 minute interval when service is transferred from the existing line to the temporary water line, and when the service is transferred from the temporary water line to the new water line. 
And if you can see this picture, that's showing a temporary water line. So it'll be laid like in the um, in the gutter, and then there'll be a, a line that comes off of that that ties in just past your meters. Um, so you basically, when they make that connection, is it takes them 15 minutes to do that, make that connection, and that's the amount of time you'll be out of service. Um, so what happens if my property is damaged? The contractor will take pictures and video of the property before breaking ground. We also encourage property owners to take pictures and video of their property before construction commences. Um, this this will be for yours and the contractor's protection. If any property damage occurs, video and pictures can help to confirm that said damage happened before, during, or after construction. The contractor is responsible for restoring to original condition any damage that occurs due to the construction. Um, will the construction affect my irrigation? The contractor will ask property owners to turn on the irrigation system so sprinkler heads can be located and flagged. The contractor has to cap irrigation lines before construction starts. The contractor will replace capped or damaged irrigation systems. And there again, there will be some water meter relocations uh, out of driveways, which will require relocation of the irrigation system controls, and the contractor will be responsible for repairing any, any irrigation systems damaged due to the construction. So. Will the street be replaced? So, following the water and sewer construction, the full width of the street will be re rehabilitated with a new asphalt surface. The street rehab is going to be performed by a mill and overlay procedure, basically grinding or scraping the top two inches of asphalt off the street from curb to curb, and then laying a new two inch uh, surface course of asphalt in place. Um, the existing curb and gutter, sidewalks and driveways will not be replaced except in certain circumstances. Uh, the replacement of curb and gutter, sidewalks, and driveways will be limited to damaged portions, either those that are currently in a damaged state or those that are damaged by the contractor during construction. Uh, for example, the contractor will need to remove and replace some curb and gutter and sidewalk to restore services. Um, they'll, they'll, there'll be some curb that gets cut to do the, the sewer services and, and maybe even the water services on some of them. But. The contractor will also remove and replace driveway approaches that currently have water meters installed in the approach following their water meter re relocation. So how will you notify us? The contractor will put door hangers on your front door seven days before and one day prior to the start of construction. Um, if you have any extenuating circumstances or have questions about the construction, please call 817-392-8306. Now, I, I want to clarify that. That that number is a is a number that is on these generic door hangers. It's, the, it's to the construction uh, division, the TPW. I, I would suggest that, well, on these door hangers will also be a fixed the contractor and inspector's contact information. They should be your primary contact if you need to coordinate property access due to gates, dogs, etc. They will also be your contact for the most prompt service and regarding any other questions or concerns as they're on site daily. If you prefer, you're more than welcome to call me, the project manager, with questions and concerns as well. So the timeline, the construction is going to begin in the spring of 2021, and the contractor is going to start in Winton Terrace East at Park Hill Drive with the sewer installation. They'll be doing the, all the sewer first, and then come back and do the water. Uh, that's generally how these construction projects work. And then once the water's done, the water and sewer is all done. They will. Um, the road will be patched up where the trench was done, and then once 
that's complete, then they'll come back and resurface the street. The project is estimated to take 14 months, which gives us an end date in the summer of 2022. So where can I get more information? So the progress progress of this construction project will be up, updated in the City of Fort Worth website at www.fortworthtexas.gov backslash projects backslash CFW hyphen Winton Terrace Infrastructure Improvements. I believe that's the same that's the same website address that Sally mentioned earlier in the uh, introduction. Um, the link to this meeting video, the project map, and the project summary and frequently asked questions will be linked to this Winton Terrace Infrastructure Improvements page. So the contacts again, uh, I'm the project manager, Chris Underwood, 817-392-2629 is my phone number. Email is john.underwood at fortworthtexas.gov. The construction inspection supervisor is David Johnson. His number is 817-223-2279. His email is David Johnson 2 david.johnson2 at fortworthtexas.gov. If you have to report an, an emergency, there's a call center at 817-392-4477. And if it's an emergency, as in a water main break or sewer backup, you can select option one 24 hours a day. If it's a non-emergency, it's the same number, but there are they're open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and they're closed on city holidays. Thank you for your time, and I guess we will go to chat questions. Okay, Chris, we have one from Brent Davis. Uh, he says, we continue to have water main breaks in the 2400 block of Medford Court East. It seems like this would be a good time to solve that issue. Yes, we have we we are aware of the water main breaks that are on Medford Court East, and we are looking into um, doing this project, doing that also. Um, I don't know that we can add it to this contract. We may be looking at doing a, another contract to to do this. This contract itself is a about a four million dollar project. So uh, even if we did all of it, we would probably break it up into two projects. So we we are currently looking into the Medford Court uh, East, Medford Court West, and uh, there's another street there. I can't remember the name of it right now, um, but it's, we're it's looking into it. Us. Okay, Chris, we have a question from William. He says, I have a sewer manhole in my driveway. What happens to that? sewer manhole in the driveway. We, it will be taken up because we're relocating the sewer out into the street. That sewer, that manhole will not be in your driveway. We're going to, we we will take the top of that drive, that manhole out and fill it up with, uh, fill it up and then cover it up and then we'll, uh, replace that driveway, that driveway approach. Okay, that's all the questions we have in chat. Let me go to the participants. You all are muted. I'm going to unmute you one at a time if you have a question. Uh, I'm going to start with Bill and Carol Hall. Do you have a question? Bill and Carol, do you have a question? Sally, Bill and Carol were the ones that messaged me saying that they couldn't hear. I don't know if anybody else is having that problem. Okay. Let me try someone else for a second. Okay, Bill, I'm going to maybe mispronounce your name, Bouchelle. I'm going to unmute you.
Bill, do you have a question? Yes, the uh, length of the project is 14 months. How much of each street is going to be torn up at one time? Is it going to be done house by house, or is it going to be uh, most of Winton Terrace West or most of Winton Terrace East will be blocked off? Uh, no, it, it won't be blocked off. You'll you'll still have access up and down the road, but we're going to start on Winton Terrace East, and uh, they will they'll be backfilling as they as they lay the new pipe, the new lines, and so you'll still have access. Um, they will be. Uh, it won't. They won't be doing it all at the same time. So, so they'll probably finish up with with the Winton Terrace East sewer, and then start on the Winton Terrace West sewer. And then once they get that done, then they'll go back and do the water, and they'll they'll probably start over on Winton Terrace East, and work their way around. And so it it's um it'll be. As big as this road is, you, there'll be times when you won't even probably realize that they're over there working on the other side. You know, if you're on Winton Terrace West, you may not even realize that they're working over on Winton Terrace East at the time. So um, you'll still have access, you know, into your driveways and and that kind of stuff. And if, like I said, if you have if you have questions and concerns, the the contractor and the inspector can can um, help you, you know, as far as uh, if you have, if you have, you know, any access issues that, that you need to get addressed. Okay. That, and during the time that they're actually working directly around my residence, it, how long am I going to be blocked out from using my driveway, that sort of thing? Um, no, it, it may be a day because they, I mean, for, when they're actually there, they um, they can lay they can lay uh, new pipe pretty fast. So you might have a day where they're actually in front of your house, and then and then the next day they're they're past you. Um, but like I said, if you if if you still if you need access, then they'll accommodate you to make sure that you got access, even if they are in front of your house, in front of your driveway. So I wouldn't I wouldn't say that you're ever going to be blocked out or blocked in, if that makes okay. sense. All right. Okay. Thank you. That's all the questions I have. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Judy Halsey, it looks like you are unmuted. Do you have any questions for Chris? Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, I typed in a couple on chat. We have a suit. We live at 2205 Winton Terrace West, and we have a sewer line in an easement behind our house. So I, I'm assuming that that's what you're talking about on easement between Medford Court and Winton Terrace, that those sewer lines will be moved to the front of our house? Uh, no, ma'am. Those, those sewer lines are in an easement, and we're not, we're not relocating those. The, the sewer lines that are being relocated are, are ones that are underneath the sidewalk in front of the houses. The ones that are back in the easement, we're going we're gonna to rehab rehabilitate those lines in place. Um, so what what we're doing is it's called a it's called in situ form. It's a cured in place pipe. Basically they put a a liner inside that pipe and then with a chemical reaction that liner adheres to the pipe and makes it uh, it basically lines that pipe so that it's in it's in new shape now. Uh, it's 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 called a trenchless technology. They don't actually have to dig a trench in there. They they're going to put this liner in there, and then they can remotely go in and and reconnect the sewer services to the to the the newly lined pipe. Um, now, if you're on Winton Terrace, most likely your sewer service is coming out to the front because that sewer line that's in the back in that easement. Is very shallow, and I don't know. If, I think most mostly what's tied onto that sewer line back there are houses from Medford Court. 
Well, also, we have a apartment that's attached to the garage back there. Uh -huh. And our understanding is that that sewer uh, is attached to the little apartment. Okay. So, yes, well, when we do the, when we uh, reline the, the pipe in ground, the service is connected to that. So they'll, they, they'll run a, a camera through there and they'll know where all the services are. And then whenever they line the pipe, the, they will, they have a, a machine that goes down into the pipe and reconnects that from inside the pipe. Yeah, that's a terrific way to, terrific way to mitigate that old pipe. That's wonderful. Yeah. Man. Yeah. It's, I don't think our house is attached to that. I'm, I'm positive it didn't, but it, the, the little house is. Yeah, most of the houses on Winton Terrace, I, I've, I've talked to a few people out there and they have basements. And if you have a basement, there's no way you could tie into that. <laughs> there's no way, if you have any kind of plumbing in the basement, there's no way you could tie into that line that's in the back. But but yeah, there's probably some some garage apartments or, or you know, smaller out, out, out buildings that might be tied into it. Um, but any, any service that is, tied into it, it's going to be reconnected. So, um. Great. Did you also note my other question in chat about preserving the mosaic street uh, block numbers and uh, street names that are along the curbs? Yes, um, there's, we have a bid item in our, um, we have a bid item in our uh, contract proposal for for replacing the mosaic, you're talking about the the tile name plates, street names. Is that what you're talking right. about? Yes, in the curbs. Okay. Yeah. If if we we can replace those, um, but like I said earlier, we're we're not we're not tearing out all the um, curb and gutter. It's not 100% curb and gutter replacement. So most likely we won't even be cutting anything there so it'll it will it will remain as it is that's all thank you thank you okay mm -hmm. uh leah gilbert i'm going to unmute you if you have any questions i uh, know ma'am i'm all good okay thank you uh Thanks. miguel do you have any questions no, I don't. I am part of the consultant with field engineering. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. How about Mike Tyson? Yes. Uh, also, uh, we understand that there's going to be an improvement project along Park Hill Drive, uh, replacing the water mains uh, this summer. So I assume those are going to be going concurrent. Yes, um, I don't, I'm not exactly sure uh, where they're at on that project as far as uh, going to construction, but um, they that will be concurrent. But uh, we will be in. We won't be in. Park Hill for, but just for a little bit to tie in the water main and the sewer main. So I'm, I'm not real sure about that project. It's somebody else in our in our office that's working that project, um, and I I don't know exactly off the top of my head where they're at as far as construction dates on that. But um, yeah, they will be. I, I'm pretty sure they're going to overlap. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Ryan Lavalley, do you have a question? Nope. Thank you. How about William? Do you have a question? No, I do not. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, let me check the chat again. Okay, I don't see anything else in chat. Let me run through all of you one more time, give you another chance to ask a question if you have one. Just a second. Okay. Okay, Bill, I think you did you already ask your questions? 
Anything new? No questions. Okay, thank you. Brent Davis, how about you? Any more questions? No, nothing further. Thank you. Nothing further, okay. I've got call on user four. This might be our inspection supervisor. I just unmuted you. Any questions? Okay, let's move to call in user five. You're unmuted. Any questions? Okay. Craig Barnes, you're our consultant. Do you have any wise words of wisdom? Uh, no, I think uh, Chris did an excellent job describing the project. No questions. Okay. Jody Halsey, did you get all your questions answered? Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. And thank you for hosting this meeting tonight. Oh, you're welcome. Um, Leah, we already checked with you. Miguel, Mike, Ryan, William. Okay. Let me check the chat one more time. Okay, I don't see any more questions. Um, you have Chris. Chris, will you go back to the screen that has your contact information? Yes. Sally, when you called on caller, call in user number five, on my screen, the mute was still showing. So I just want to make sure that you unmuted four and five when you asked so that they're not, you know, yelling into the abyss. I did. I'm thinking that is going to be two of our internal ones. Let me try one more time. Call on user four, you're unmuted. Caller user five, you're unmuted. Okay. I'm pretty sure the, that's our internal staff. Any questions, guys? Our call on users? Okay. So anyway, what, what I was saying was, um, your project manager is Chris Underwood, but he does go, his email is john.underwood at forwardtexas.gov. And you've got David Johnson's information on there, like uh, Chris already said. It's david.johnson2 at forwardtexas.gov because there are two David Johnsons with the city of Fort Worth. We thank you for coming to the meeting tonight. Um, as Chris said, the construction starts Spring. Spring of 2011. And you will get door hangers. 2021. 2021. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're back in time. <laughs> I don't want to go back in time. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here tonight. If you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you.